All right, guys, welcome back to our world outdoors. And in this video, we're sitting out by Tar Hollow on a brisk October morning, probably about 45 degrees right now, and it is not going to warm up during our hike. So, fall is starting to come into full effect here, and we are out getting more North Country Trail miles. For those of you that don't know, we are doing the North Country Challenge, 100 mile challenge. They do it every year. We do our 100 miles. Now, before we go any farther, if you guys are watching this and you would be interested in seeing us section hike the Buckeye Trail, please go down in the comments and let us know what you think of that video idea. We are talking about it, playing about it. It might be something we might do in the next upcoming year or two years, section hiking it out the entire Buckeye Trail. So go down in the comments, let us know what you think. That said, honey, where are we and where are we going? We are at the Dogwood Shelter in Tar Hollow, and we are going to the Buckeye Trail trailhead on Blue Lick Road. That's right. So I went and put my truck down there, which I will tell you, if you have a car or low riding vehicle, do not try and go park it down there because it will not happen. Um, my truck, I got it just off the side of the road. If you block the driveway, you will get towed. And just to warn you, down that road is a towing service. So don't tempt fate, do a good job, and don't get it so the Buckeye Trail has issues. That said, we're gonna get our butt on the trail here. It is a beautiful morning, and we all know Tar Hollow is gorgeous when the leaves start to change. So here we go. Okay, so we actually parked in front of the dogwood shelter and on that same side of the road off to the right just past dogwood is the cut in for the Buckeye Trail. There's no real marking, but if you look in the woods, you can see the blue blazes on the trees. So just to be clear, anybody who wants to try this hike, that's where the cut in is. Alright guys, so we're done with the road walk, which isn't really a terrible road walk because it really gives you the feel you're in the woods because it's a gravel road. But we passed the horse camp 24 
and now we made a left into the woods and we're gonna get this woods walk done let's go Guys, I gotta say, I really enjoy these NCT hikes, honestly. It's usually in the fall when we really start getting serious about them, usually because we put them off too long. But then we find these places that we never would think to hike, and there's always pretty colors in the fall. I mean, granted, we're just at the start of color change right now, so we still have some flowers to look at too. But it gives me some time to be with my wife and really get to enjoy things. I mean, if you turn around and look, some of them are yellowing out early this year and some have color. But either way, I get the time to be able to be with this lady here. We get the miles we need and it's just a great way to spend the time. And there's the accomplishment at the end of it when you get your certificate. So if you guys haven't heard about or don't know about the NCT challenge, Go check out their website at the North Country Trail. And I'm telling you, this is a fun way to kind of set pace for the year that you're gonna get some miles. Right, guys so we're back to the truck looks like a total of about what five five miles five miles today um, so now we have 54 left to go and this one was supposed to be more roads but we got a lot of woods walk it was great mm -hmm. but Very nice hike I definitely enjoyed this one the leaves are just starting to change can't wait to see more change you know as we move along through this fall mm -hmm. now that said, we got a big day tomorrow also on NCT Miles, so we need to get out of here because we need to go get our granddaughter, get something to eat because we haven't had anything to eat yet today. So if you haven't already, make sure you go down, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and we will see you up the trail.